Hi everyone, welcome back to Heal and Learn. This is Zarina and today I'm going to be talking about our basic energetic makeup. It's a very interesting topic that not a lot of people know about, or at least they're not proven sources. But my source is very interesting, so stay tuned and you'll find out. We're going to be talking about the major um, energy flows that we have, um, how this is connected to how we influence people and how people influence us. So please hit the bell, subscribe uh, to get notified when future videos come up. So how do I know the information that I'm going to share with you right now? You see, most sources that you've heard of and read about that tell you about the energetic makeup of us as human beings uh, come from a single person or from a small group of people uh, that have received the information through channeling. The information that I'm giving you now actually comes from a book written by somebody who used to be head of um, a Russian secret services program between the 80s and the 90s. And the program was called a Future Energy, Energy Information uh, Program. The goal of this program was to find ways and systemize the knowledge of how a human being or a group of extrasensory human beings uh, could influence the consciousness of a person or of a group of people and hence lead them to act in a certain way, to exhibit desired behaviors. So you see such programs uh, have been conducted everywhere around the world and therefore one of the uh, one of the tasks of the program was also to find out and systemize ways in which you can protect yourself uh, from an external influence. The program was conducted over eight years and it stepped on prior knowledge of a program that was classified. This particular program was not classified at the time and actually was released at the time of um, the perestroika in, the, in, the, in Russia. So there were a lot of changes going on and it didn't get the traction and the attention it was meant to. Um, anyhow, what I'm trying to tell you is that this is a reliable source of information. More than 500 uh, extrasensory um, people were used to uh, design and systemize this knowledge and so it is rather reliable. So what does it tell us? Um, briefly, it tells us that, of course, there's energy around the um, around us, everywhere around us, the universe is made up of energy and uh, we are a part of it. But how do we interact, how is our energetic um, body built and how do we interact with one another, with the universe, with the environment? Basically, there are two major flows that make up our energetic construct and that feed us with the energy of the universe. One of the flows comes from the universe, comes from above, it is the Kundalini energy. It has the shape of a spiral and it goes down through our entire body, through all the main chakras and uh, into the earth. The other major flow comes from the earth. It flows upwards and goes, disperses the energy of the earth to the universe. So we're basically hanging on these two main energy flows like a bead. The role of the chakras is explained in the following way. It basically takes both flows of energy and disperses them through other smaller nodes and smaller chakras around the body in a way as to form uh, an energetic network that is very fine. It goes to the very um, to minute cells uh, and it is spread from the bigger to the smaller nodes and so on. And this is how our energetic makeup is made. Whenever some of one of the chakras is compromised or energy is not flowing correctly, uh, then we see um, health issues or life issues such as if the heart chakra is compromised or if the root chakra is compromised, then we can see issues with relationships and so on. Uh, basically, we often see a reflection of a compromised chakra or the energy not being spread or not flowing properly in the surrounding bodily organs. So these two flows are our major source of energy. Unfortunately, the flow, uh, the fl both flows are very often compromised because apart from being connected 
to above and below, we are also connected to everything around us, to the whole environment. So how do we interact with one another and with the environment? We are not closed systems, we, there's a constant exchange both between us, the earth, the universe, but also among other people. Uh, and this is not optimal because the energy that you pick up may be very positive, you can get energized from it, but you can also get uh, other people's emotions, ideas, uh, programming, thoughts. These are things that can get you sick and eventually can uh, break the proper functioning of one or more chakras. But how do we interact? Basically, there are two sets of chakras that interact with the external environment. The first set of chakras is the orange one and the yellow one. Uh, these are called the Manipura and Svathishtana. You can look them up and see what they're responsible for. So basically, these two chakras um, take the soak in the energy from um, the environment, but they also um, transform the take the energy from the universe that flows down on the on the spiral of the Kundalini flow. So it flows down, it picks up all our thoughts, all our programming, everything that comes from the consciousness, and it goes down to those two chakras. And then from these two chakras, people actually send out signals, can send the flow to other people. And this is what a lot of magicians are using. These are the chakras of the magicians, uh, because through, um, through the energy exchange of those two chakras, you can actually um, implant programming ideas, thoughts in other people. The other set of chakras that connects us to the environment uh, is uh, Vishuddha and Ajna. Vishuddha is the throat chakra that is responsible not only for communication but also for willpower and uh, Ajna is the chakra of the third eye. So through these chakras we actually uh, take the energy from the earth that goes upwards through our whole body, through all the other chakra, and thus picks up on emotions that reside in the lower chakras. And, is, um, and these emotions are then released through the eyes and the third eye and through communication. And uh, these two chakras also pick up the upward flow from uh, the universe. So these two chakras are very strong in people who are um, people of influence, politicians, actors, people that play with your emotions. And, um, and so there is a constant uh, cross exchange between the upper set of chakras and the lower set of chakras of people. Basically, we uh, send our thoughts and, uh, um, and programming via the bottom two chakras. They're not the bottom two, but uh, last but one bottom and the upper one. So through the, uh, the bottom two exchange chakras, we send uh, programming ideas um, and thoughts to another person who takes it then from their uh, Ajna and Vishuddha chakras. Uh, and so they believe it's their thought because they, they receive it from this upper part and vice versa. All the emotions uh, that we think are ours we get from, uh, we receive from our uh, yellow and orange chakras, but we get them from the Vishuddha and the Ajna chakras of other people. So this is how uh, we actually interact with each other. It's like a web. Why is it important to know this? Because whenever the flows from the universe and from Earth, either of these flows is compromised, then... Um, we start picking up energy from other people in order to compensate for the lack of energy from the original sources. So naturally we pick up their thoughts, we pick up their influences and therefore we are very easily manipulated. In order to recover your independence, your energetic independence, but also emotional and thought independence, you need to be in control of these two flows. In another video I'm going to give you more information on that. Uh, again, please let me know if this is interesting for you. This channel is all about holistic approaches. So we're talking about energy, about psychology, about mindset, about business, about love, about practical matters like um, weight loss even. So let me know what is the topic that most interests you at the moment.
and please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell. Thank you.